Hey everyone, before we get this episode going, we're going to go live. I'm going to tell you when in just a minute. First, I want to show you this. This is a copy of the cover of the script to the movie Casino. So I had Frank sign it as well to all of his prescribers. And um, if you're interested in getting a copy of that, we're going to run a little poll and see if there's interest. If there's enough interest, we'll do that for you, okay? As our gift to you. I want to thank everybody for all of the thoughts, messages, and prayers. You guys left so many comments, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. I can't respond to all of them. So just thank you guys all. I appreciate it. Frank appreciates it. And my family appreciates it. But this Saturday, the 18th, join us, 2 p.m., and uh, we'll take questions from you guys. Okay? Here we go. Colada, colada, grab your favorite brew. Ask a question, he'll answer it for you. The mafia, the mafia, the mafia, the mafia. You better hit the scribe if you know what's good for you. Drinking a cup of coffee with Frank Colada. He'll tell you a lot. He's Frank Colada. Welcome back. What do you got for me today, Adam? All right. If you haven't bought a coffee cup already, go buy a coffee cup. Support the channel a little bit. Uh, in the last video, Frank and I, we're just going to pick up where we left off. Uh, Tony, growing up with Tony. Now, when Tony got to be about 22, you guys were roughly the same age, only about eight months difference. Yeah. And uh, so when you guys were about 22, he started working for Mad Sam. How did that come to be? How did he meet well, Mad you Sam? Know, there's all different ways that said. Here's my knowledge. Mad Sam, you know, got money from Paul Rica, over 150000 They met in jail. So Sam told him I can make him millions a year, and he did. But he got a little reckless. So they needed somebody to control to be in Sam, to be around Sam. So they picked Tony, uh, Rica, because Tony had committed a couple of couple of things, you know, which made him an honorable guy in their eyes. And who else better to keep an eye on Sam but Tony? But meanwhile, I didn't know it at the time. Maybe Tony did too. But they were also dealing with drugs, Sam. Heavy, heavy drugs. And that's why they never made him a part of the outfit. Because they didn't want the heat. They wanted the fucking money, but they didn't want the heat. So they put Tony with Sam to make sure that Sam could collect all his juice money. He was doing two, three million a year. And juice, juice money, that's a lot of friggin' money. So, uh, so Tony went to work. But Sam was, he was a wild man. And a couple of times I had to go with Tony to get a few people to bring him by Sam's house. And that's when I realized this guy, he was mentally retarded. He was the devil. He couldn't fight his way out of a paper bag. You don't have to be tough to win. That's all you have to be. You could be one inch. You know what one inch is, don't you? A bullet. Or as long as an ice pick. So this guy, he controlled by fear. I don't think anybody ever liked him. Uh, what, what are you going to do? So Tony worked for him with this guy, Grimaldi, and Mario, Sam's brother. Sam had another brother that Sam had to kill because of the drug business. Uh, they were told, you kill him or we kill him. So Sam said, let me kill him. I want his body to, in the casket so the mother, you know, he don't look bad. So Sam killed him, gave him a bath afterwards, dressed him up, put him in the trunk, put him on the street, and that's the way they found his brother. It's all over drugs. This is a quiet one, you know, really. But Sam was dealing in a heavy, and uh, like I said at the time, that was the furthest thing from my mind, and I always thought we were clear that uh, drug dealing, but, you know, money's money. These guys wanted the money. What kind of drugs? Yeah, it was probably marijuana at the time, or pills, you know, goofballs and all that shit. I don't know. I, don't, I never dealt with these drug people. Matter of fact, if a guy, if he, if he smoked marijuana, we call him a drug addict. <laughs> You know, it was an armless drug, but we thought it was a bad drug back then. Reefer Madness. Huh? Reefer Madness. Reefer Madness. That's right. Black Beauties, they had all that shit. 
You know, we used to beat them guys up. You know, and I, then I found out later about how the drugs that infiltrated the Chicago outfit and how the money worked its way up the ladder. You know, you hear that stuff after a while. And not that I wanted to know. Who cares? I don't want to know about that shit. I got my own business. That's why I don't want to be involved. I want to do my thing. And that's why I'm here right now. Because I did my thing. Okay, so Sam, describe what he, his appearance. You said his eyes were black just because he was the devil. But what, did he, was he disheveled? Did he dress well? Did he, he always wore a suit. Always. I never seen him without a suit. I'm sure he, there was times he did. He walked normal as an old man. They pull all those arteries out of his legs. I don't know, he had some artery disease. So he had no arteries. So that means he had no circulation in his, in his uh, legs. And he always wore long underwears. How I knew that is when he come to the Stateville Penitentiary for physical, physical examination, he had moon dance. I call him moon dance. Uh, I said, what the fuck you doing with long underwear on? Yeah, I got no veins in my leg. I saw him. But he was like a puppy in there. He wasn't that gorilla yelling and screaming. He was like a baby. So, you know, I, I didn't fuck with them people. Like, I didn't want to do it. I could have, but I didn't. And uh, his eyes, I never seen a pupil. I mean, I seen the pupil. That's all I seen. I never seen the white. It was like looking into a hollow cave. That means there was death in his face. And that's it. What was his house like inside? What did it look like? Was it it was, a, it was a regular house, no different than anybody else's. He didn't have all that, like a multi-millionaire. Well, middle class, middle class. We stood by his house in the video when we did a little tour, uh, the virtual tour. It looked like a normal house to it me. It was, corner house. So his wife, was she like one of those... Ladies kept plastic over the furniture? She was a typical Italian lady. And uh, she, she was very loyal to him. She loved him. I don't see how, but she loved him. He may have had a different side to him with her. But, uh, yeah, she would bow to his needs. Typical grease ball, you know what I mean? So toward the end of Mad Sam's life, Mario and Tony, right, Sam's brother Mario and Tony killed... Frank uh, killed uh, Sam. Why? Right. Because Sam, they were very afraid. He was too much out there in the news. And they were afraid he was going to roll. And they had a murder case going. Three of them, they were a murder trip. And uh, they were afraid Sam was going to roll. When you're that old, nine times out of ten, you're going to roll. Nine times out of ten. Very few guys don't roll except that last bunch of family secrets and Joe Lombardo. But a guy like Sam, he's got none to lose. He's got millions. He would roll. So they killed him. He would have put Tony and his brother in jail. These photos that we've seen of Sam on some kind of stretcher with a megaphone yeah, going into court. That's what's when it all deal? started. Yeah, what was, what was that about? You know, it's, he was just yelling and screaming at the nose. How the government was framing him. It was getting to be uh, obnoxious, embarrassment. So, you know, and that kept on rolling and rolling, and eventually they said, this guy's fucking nuts. He's going to roll. He's damaging us. And that's why. All right. So did Tony ever tell you about him and Mario killing Sam? He just told me that they killed him. Man. Okay. He said it was easy. Um... So Tony worked for Sam collecting juice money, right? Going yeah. around muscling guys. Exactly. And, okay. Did Tony have any stories or ever tell you anything personal about Sam? Not really. Because uh, I know everything. I mean, he was an open and closed book. He was violent. He was going to do what he wanted to do. He had Garda Blanche. Uh, so th we didn't sit down and talk. That. Tony would just say, guy's a fucking lunatic. He's a lunatic. Uh, sexual deviant, maybe? Oh, he was that, too. Yeah, he, he was that, too. But, you know, we didn't sit down and drink coffee and talk about his sexual fantasies. You know what I mean? You wouldn't want to sit down and drink coffee with him. Uh, I heard what he used to do to that coffee. Disgusting. It was no honor to be around him. Okay. No honor. I seen him work abroad. 
in the North Avenue Steakhouse. Drag her by her hair off the bar. Got heads from her in the bathroom. Him and Jack Cerrone. Jack Cerrone was with him that night. Another boss. I told Tony, these fucking guys are nuts. He says, shh. Don't say it. Don't let them hear us. Be quiet. I said, they're old men, I said. He said, they're the bosses. What's the matter with you? If, if you just tried to step in and stop them from doing this well, to this I girl, would, but you'd, they wouldn't let me. You'd, you'd have been killed, right? Oh, yeah. I will, yeah. I thought I was bulletproof. When you grow up, you think you're bulletproof. I could have probably whipped them both with one hand. By the way, how do you like my outfit today? Some girl on the tour, a lady, give me this hat. Gina, Tina, oh, Tina, oh, right? Yeah, I like it. It's the last tour that we've done. We did it weeks ago now. I know. Well, well, so, um, so that really helps uh, to develop Sam's character because he's going to be a big part of this uh, the screenplay. Right. People are asking, where do we audition? Where do we audition? They got like, a fantasy with this guy. Is we, is the, it's weird. All the pieces are coming together here. But I got to tell you something. Larry Newman would have made Sam look like a fairy. Larry Newman. Yeah, I'm telling you, I know Ben. He was a frightening guy. I never let him know that. Man, that guy would take you apart. And, and love it. Every piece of meat he took off you. A sick Jewish man. It's a shame, but that was Larry. We're going to get into Larry in an upcoming video because I want to go into great depth about yeah. him. But um, let's wrap this. Okay. Thank you again for joining me. I'm doing this because I love you all. I hope this was a good interview. Remember, this pandemic bullshit, the Chinese swine or whatever they call it. It's there. And I guarantee you everybody's going to get it sooner or later. It's just that it's got to lay dormant. Wear the mask. I hate it, but I do. Reminds me of the old days when I wore a mask now. Only thing's I don't got the gun. God bless you. Have a good day. Take it away, Adam. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.